Hi, I'm Car Radicke, Tournament Director of Schwann's USA Cup. Soccer is the world's game. It's a bridge to other cultures, other countries, and other languages. It's a passport to international friendship and understanding. From the beginning, Schwann's USA Cup has been an international tournament. Over the past 28 years, we've had teams from 64 countries. Each year, some of those international teams have a chance to forge lasting friendships by staying with American families. In 2012, Gauta and Runar from the suburbs of Oslo, Norway, stayed with the Sullivan family of St. Paul. This is their story. Well, sending uh, your kid uh, to a foreign country is a bit spooky. They are only 15 years old, but uh, this trip has been well planned for about uh, three years. And uh, the management of the team, they have uh, planned this excellent. So uh, we have been well informed uh, during this period and uh, we have uh, all been looking forward to this trip. I always wanted to go to America, but living with the family was just a huge bonus. Me and Gauta had a talk with the, uh, some of the family members on Facebook, so we knew them a little bit, but not very much. They're, they were just very open to see how we live. That's what they wanted to do, and they wanted to learn some English. So while they were here, it was great. They were, they were fun, energetic, and, uh, and um, willing, to, willing to just hang out with the family. We slept downstairs with uh, uh, the big brother Nate and uh, Runar slept on the couch and I slept on this little bed. Other than the slight soccer smell that, <laughs> al that always follows teenage boys, uh, it, was, it was perfect. They were definitely very entertaining. Um, just what they said, what they were interested in was always fun to listen to and it was fun to converse with them. We talked about music and uh, he also was very curious about what we are doing over here, um, yeah, but the main thing that we have in common was soccer and music, I think, and movies. I mean, yeah, we talked about soccer, I guess, but, I don't know, besides that fact, we sort of just wanted to get to know each other other than soccer and, like, what our backgrounds were and stuff. They were, uh, they were actually very glad to have us over because, uh, they asked so many questions in the car when we came home and it, well, I got the feeling that they really wanted to get to know us. You learn a lot when you're going to an, another country, especially when you live with other families. So we learned the language was better, um, we learned the lang language a little bit better, um, how what they are doing over there. No, there wasn't any awkwardness. I thought it was really fun to have guys hang out with like for three days. It was cool because like I have my brothers around all the time anyway, so I don't really think I'm awkward around boys or anything like that. What do you, do you think about American girls? <laughs> Um, my team won to tie for first place in our league, so we're all pretty excited about that. 
And so I invited the team over um, to come back and meet the guys and to just hang out and kind of celebrate. The Norwegian girls are like more embarrassed, I guess. So, like the American girls aren't afraid to say hi and get to know you. Oh, how, hello, what's your name? I think it might have been a little overwhelming to me, like 23 girls. The American girls were very loud and because uh, after their soccer match they go out in the silhouettes, the whole team, and they all ate pizza and they, yeah, they screamed a lot. And like their energy. I mean, like I said before, they were really just fun guys to hang out with. They always wanted to do something. The most uh, fun experience I had uh, with the Solon family was uh, when we uh, arrived to Valley Fair. Uh, it was a huge roller coaster park. Valley Fair was oh, awesome because we spent the entire day at Valley Fair going on fun rides and like just learning kind of funny things. Like I didn't know Gato was like terrified of heights, but apparently he is. <laughs> The green roller coaster, right? yeah. I think. Yeah, the wild thing. But you didn't expect what what was going to happen. One of the things that was nice is they came over here as a group, but they didn't feel as if they needed to do everything with their whole team. Also, we went to a baseball game uh, where Isaiah played, and they actually won the won really, really good, really much. I think it was 17-7. Uh, it was uh, uh, an experience for for li lifetime. I'm sure that they will never forget this uh, this uh, experience. Uh, I would recommend uh, this trip to my friends because uh, it's a very good uh, trip. When you can you can go to America, of course, and you can uh, stay with a family. Yeah, I would do it again. I mean, we've had so many exchange students. Like, it's just fun to see everyone's different background. It'd be great if they could come again, maybe next year. As soon as we uh, was on the plane to get back to Norway, I was like, oh, I don't want to go, I want to go back. But Because the funniest thing was to live with the families, obviously. Um, the, and the Americans are much more politeful than we are used to. Oh, they were wonderful guests. Very easy and very, um, very easy to please and willing to do whatever we proposed. So. Where, where would they rank on your good guests list? <laughs> They're right up there. They're number one and two, I think. And I also learned a couple of words in Norwegian. My favorite is Yairikid Beated. Means I like cars. Well, we formed a special bond with Isaiah because um, he was the, like, at his age, he was the one that took most care of us. I don't know, there was something about him, some, something interesting. Like, we don't see that mature kids here in Norway. I say I was a really cool boy, and uh, he was, he's the person that I uh, missed most when I left the USA. Uh, because he was the first uh, that met us with uh, Easy. And he was, yeah, he became, became our friend and our little brother. To Isaiah. Thank you so much for everything. We are going to miss you a lot when we are leaving this beautiful country. We won't forget you because you are so strong and nice to other people. Good luck with the baseball. Love, Gauta and Hazel. 